What's up guys, Logan Schinholster here, CGN, helping you go from craftsman over to businessman. Let me go ahead and dive deep into how we built a pawn company's website, all right? Uh, we get asked a lot or get told a lot, well, it's just a website, right? And it's like, eh, it's not just a website. Everything on your website needs to be very intentional, right? It's almost like, think about like in a sales call, if you're just winging it left and right, the sale's probably not gonna go well. But if you actually have a structure and a set pathway on that sales call that you're able to do every time you're on the call, then you know that your likelihood to actually close the sale is gonna increase significantly. So same thing with the website. Um, we used to call them sales tools actually because it's less of a website and really more of something that aids in helping you sell your work. So I'm gonna dive deep into what it was that we did on this one, why we did it, and then that way you understand completely how it all works and how you know, the website's really supposed to play within the business. So first off, let me just give you the backstory of this company. So Premier Ponds, this is my dad's old company. He started it in 2001 and in 2015, he started to sell off a percentage of it to his two top guys, Mike and Andrew. Um, and then he completely exited the business at the end of 2020. So for the past, at this point, year and a half, Andrew and Mike have been running it, um, you know, completely on their own. Um, and what we did was we had the old website that I helped create in 2015, 20, no, 2017, excuse me. Um, and that site was essentially my testing ground as a marketing guy, right? We, I got to play with a lot of different things, um, update it, add stuff, remove stuff, see what works, see what didn't work. And we went through so many freaking iterations that we ended up coming up with this site right here. And in fact, this site does so well. We have so much data on how well it's done over the years um, or this, this like structure of the site that this is actually how we build all of the websites that we've done for contractors, like the 300 plus. So there's a lot that goes into this and it's all just been tested to see how it all works. So you know this stuff is legit. So what we wanted to do on this website was understand completely what was the benefit, like what was really good about Premier Ponds that will make a prospect of theirs come onto the website and go, you know what, this is the company for me. That was the whole idea of how we wanted to build it. Um, I hear a lot of people talk about a website is simply just a thing you gotta have. Oh, this just will make my business legitimate. But in reality, this website sells work. It is an unbelievably powerful tool. In fact, it is the hub, the foundation of all of your marketing. So it is so important to have it set up correctly and have it done in the right manner because otherwise this tool, which all your marketing efforts should push back towards, your uh, truck wrap, business cards, Facebook posts, YouTube, you know, SEO, all that stuff pushes back over to the website and the website's really, uh, the main function is to essentially build up enough enthusiasm and trust with your company that somebody's gonna go, okay, this is the, the right company for me. Plus, it actually acts as a lead nurturing tool because if you're out in the field, and this is what we did with Premier, was it was all set up where my dad was getting phone calls all the time. He's out in the field, he's working, and instead of letting them all go to voicemail, he was like, look, that's a terrible business practice. I, I'm gonna actually answer the call. So he would answer it, tell everybody to be quiet for a second. He would talk for about 30 seconds and say, do me a favor, head over to my website. We've got a bunch of different projects and price points and things like that. And if everything looks good to you, you can actually go ahead and fill out a contact form there. I'll get your information, I'll give you a call back. And what that would do is that was, it would actually pre-qualify the prospects. So then that way it did most of the heavy lifting for him. So he didn't have to, um, you know, stop work right there or try to call somebody back at six o'clock at night when he was, you know, driving back from the job site. So it really acted as a catch-all uh, marketing system sales tool that really made his life so much easier. And it also brought in the right types of prospects. I want to show you exactly how we did it. So Premier Ponds is, they, they're nationally known. I mean, like in the pond world, they're big, right? Like whenever a pond contractor calls uh, CGN to talk, you know, we name drops uh, Premier. Most all of them say, yep, I know exactly who that is. They, they won like Pond Contractor of the Year uh, a few different times, so they're known. Um, and the reason that I bring that up is we needed to encompass that on the website, right? It's not just a Pond Contractor. This is like a Pond firm, if you will. 
and it needed to look that high-end look because if it didn't, then my dad was gonna essentially get beat up on his price, which is what was happening previously, right? He didn't look the part. He was doing all the right things in people's houses. So he, he would show up on time, communicate. The whole crew would be wearing nice, you know, um, branded shirts. They would walk up to the homeowner and shake their homeowner's hand, look him in the eye, introduce them. Like all the little subtleties that like the high-end contracting companies do that they don't get credit for, all the prospect sees is a higher price point, not realizing how professional of a company this really is. That needed to be embodied on this website. And we did all that through a few different methods that I'm gonna walk you through right now. So the way that somebody's gonna use the website and a prospect is for some reason, they love to scroll down and scroll back up on the home page. Now, the reason that they do that is this is like a trust factor, right? There's an idea that um, function follows form. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of SEO companies that will build a website very focused on just getting you found in Google, which is great, but if somebody comes onto the website and it looks like crap, then the likelihood that they're gonna actually wanna work with you goes down because for, I'm sorry, function follows form. So it needs to first off, look good. And when somebody comes into the website, you have, and there's different stats on this, but you have less than a half a second before somebody makes in their mind a judgment on is this a company that I can trust or not. So the initial gut reaction on this website is huge. So when somebody comes in, they look and they're either gonna go, wow, this looks like a legit good company or wow, this looks tacky. I'm only gonna spend a certain amount of money because they just don't seem that professional. All right, and what they're then gonna do is whatever judgment they make, they're then gonna take the rest of the time that they're on the website to validate that. So if it's a professional looking company, they're gonna look through the, the rest of the website with the lens of, okay, this company's legit. Or if it's a low end company, same lens, but they're gonna be looking at it as, okay, this is a, a lower quality uh, company and they're essentially gonna be finding reasons not to work with you. Sounds crazy, but that's just how humans are, all right? So they're gonna come in and this initial home page that we want this to serve two main purposes. The first one, build that trust, get that initial gut reaction that is in a very positive light. And the second piece of it is we want this to act as like a directory for the website. So when you go to the mall, for example, let's say you're trying to find the Apple store. If there's no directory, you're gonna eventually find the Apple store, but it's gonna take you 20 minutes of walking up and down uh, the halls of, of the mall. But if you walk in and you see the directory right there, you can beeline it right to the Apple store and you're at your desired spot faster. That's what this website does, is when they first come in, what they're gonna see is two options really. I have a pond or I want a pond. All right, we, I first put this on Premier Ponds' old website maybe about four years ago, and the feedback was so good. Uh, we had people that moved forward. I remember at the time, I think it was like 2019, they sold the biggest project they had ever sold, ever, and the reason was the homeowner said, your website is the best website I've ever been on in my entire life because of how easy it was. All right, and I actually got, crazy enough, I got that idea from Home Advisor. Our home advisor has a really good setup where when you go on there, you can type in what you're looking for, the locations, things like that. Well, we didn't want to go crazy in depth where it's like asking prospects for like all this information too early on because the goal of the website is to also guide somebody through the website through all the main sales points that we want them to go through. So what we focused on or what we decided on was simply let's create two buttons. Either they're going to have a pond or they want a pond. And in the pond world, that's all you really have is either you have it or you don't, all right? And I got that idea of the two different sections also from my dad. I brought up, I said, you know, why would somebody want a pond? Why would they not? And we went through it and it really just kind of came down. So when somebody would call him on the phone looking for some work, they either have it or they don't. So let's say in this case, they have it, all right? They have a pond. What is most likely the case here is they moved into a house and the previous homeowner or the real estate agent said, look, you got a, you got a pond in the backyard. Uh, it's really easy to maintain, don't worry about it. Well, the homeowner buys the home and they move in and what they realize is it's a hell of a lot harder to actually deal with it. 
So what we wanted to do is we wanted to encompass that on this website. Because again, we need to bring people in and make them feel comfortable with Premier Ponds. Because when they feel comfortable and feel trusting, well then it's much easier to actually get them to move forward with the project. All right, so coming in, all this website, it has all the, the, the SEO functionality of it. I mean, in fact, this website, because we've done ongoing uh, SEO stuff with it for at this point about eight years, they get maybe, I can look at the exact stats, but I think it's like between 24 and 26, thousand people a month to the website all right so it is a very 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 powerful website in fact it's probably one of the most powerful pond websites in the country all right um the site is initially when you come down you start to scroll down you're going to see what we call social proof all right premier ponds has been around for about 21 years at this point they've worked with tons of people all right so there is strength in numbers and we wanted to highlight that on premier ponds's website we wanted to say, look, this is not our first rodeo. We do this all the time. And when a prospect comes in, the idea was that we wanted them to see, okay, this company is legit. And if, we, if they've worked on thousands of people's ponds, then it's, they're probably good enough for me as well. So it immediately hits on, we're legit without going overboard of saying, look, we're the greatest thing since sliced bread. Because it, it is a little bit nuancy there, but we wanted to highlight it without going overboard on like bragging. All right. Now, the first thing that we want to call out on these websites, and this is what, I'm, what is called the service page, because the service is actually you know, pond cleaning and maintenance. We want to first draw them in emotionally, right? In the pond world, and, and, and in fact, I mean, all sales is like this. In the pond world, there's a lot of emotion, right? Either the homeowner is going to be installing a brand new pond and most of the time that a homeowner is going to install a new pond is because they grew up with a pond or a, near a lake or near a body of water and now they want their kids to actually be able to, to experience the same thing they did i mean for me personally i grew up I mean, my, my dad's a pond builder my window at home i had a pond right outside the courtyard so every night to go to sleep i had my windows open especially in the spring and summertime i could hear the running water and the bullfrogs and to me that was so peaceful well i just brought, bought my first house a few months back guess what i already have in my in the backyard my youngest brother who's a pond builder down here in charlotte came in and installed that and i go outside every single night for at least an hour and sit on my screen and porch and listen to the pond so when we can call that stuff out on like not on this page but on the installation page that speaks to people all right we had another client just uh like two days ago um he's a gc but the person the prospect moved forward with him because they said i read the words on the website and it just spoke directly to me and that's the whole goal of this right we want to infuse the seo aspects of it but more importantly, we want to hit on the heartstrings of the prospect. And that's what we did here. So what we first talked about was, you know, it's an eyesore, it's a frustration, murky water, overgrown plants. You may be constantly adding water to it or seeing puddles of water forming outside of it, right? So the first thing we want to do is we are calling out the real life issues that Premier Ponds' prospects are dealing with. And what we're wanting to do here is we are wanting to actually take the the, the real stuff that they're dealing with on sales calls and just put it out there online because when somebody reads through this they will identify and go that's me that's me that's me and when they have enough of those that's me's then they will move forward or in the very least they're way more receptive to the solution because they know that we know what the problem really is all right we also call it out even more hey you want to start with an exploratory drain and clean if you just bought your house and inherited a water feature. Your old pond company went out of business. You need to repair. It leaks. It doesn't work. It hasn't been cleaned in a while. Like all these different things. All right. And now we want to hit on a little bit more of the emotion. All right. Help pond maintenance to create healthy ecosystems. You can't truly enjoy your pond when it looks dirty or unkempt. I mean, there's a lot of different aspects of it where we are trying to just continuously call out the pain. And if you've ever been through sales training, you know you have to lead off with the pain. It's the same thing here. 
So that's why we used to call these sales tools because it really, I mean, it, it's a website, it still acts as it, but it really draws out the pain up front. And once we draw enough pain out, that's when we can then start to talk about ourselves and the product and how we do it. But the first thing we need to do is let people know, look, here's the issues that you're dealing with. All right, now, the next piece that we like to talk through is just some of the, the common solutions that we can do. You know, it, it's, it's gonna be protecting the pond, checking the health of it, trimming the plants. So now we're trying to explain some of the features here that we will do as part of the service. And when people can do that, they clearly understand, okay, this is what it entails. Now the next bit, because this is a nuance uh, service, like nobody Googles exploratory draining cleans, right? Because that's not a normal thing. They Google pond cleaning company near me, which is why what we do is we first call out, hey, look, you want pond maintenance? Perfect, you're at the right page. So we're trying to bridge the gap to somebody to say, look, if you just search for pond cleaning, this page will pop up on Google. Click on it and now it reaffirms you're in the right spot. But as you come down, we're now taking your search and we're actually shifting your mindset into, you thought you just needed pond cleaning and maintenance, but in reality, what you need is an exploratory drain and clean. And as we've continuously kind of brought them down that cycle, now it's time to actually explain what is an exploratory drain and clean. And we walk through all of it. You know, first we drain it, then we clean it, then we inspect it, then we refill it, then we educate you about you and your pond. And what, my dad did this at first, and the reason that this actually came to be this exploratory draining clean was initially for the first like eight years of the business he wouldn't clean anybody's pond that he didn't build himself he only did construction and then cleaning on existing ponds that he built well the market was saying steve i want you to come out and clean and fix my pond that somebody else built for me and he was saying no and eventually he said screw it if that's what they want i'll do it but i'm going to charge a lot of money and guess what it worked he was actually able to go out there and do it. And then what he realized was people also wanted to know how it all worked. If they simply wanted a pond company to come out there and clean it, and they didn't really care about how it worked or anything like that, those were typically the prospects that wanted to spend maybe a few hundred bucks. And he started at a thousand for this. Now the people that wanted it clean, but also wanted to understand how it worked, how to keep it healthy, things like that, well, those were his types of clients, and that was what this service was tailored towards. So he actually, by providing this service, he got to filter out the wrong people and only really work with the people that actually cared about their pond, which, lo and behold, were also the people that would sign up for ongoing maintenance and eventually do renovation, new construction, things like that. So it was an ingenious move on his part to build everything around this. All right, so drain it, clean it, inspect it, refill it, educate you on your pond. Well, now we needed to explain it. The next piece was perfect. We've first got somebody emotionally involved where they're knowing the frustrations of the pond. And the more that we're talking about this and we're starting to talk about the solutions and we're talking about how it all works, they're now in our world. They're, they're thinking in their head, okay, I like this company. I like what they stand for. Their process seems easy. It seems exactly what I want. Well, the, the final filter, if you will, was the pricing, right? If somebody's going through all this and emotionally they're getting excited for it, when they go through it, the last thing we hit them with is the price, all right? Because if they're thinking, man, this is amazing, as long as it's 300 bucks, I'm in, well, he can't do it for anything less than 990. So this, would, this filters the wrong people out. It just lets the right people come in, all right? And that's the whole idea is that we want to get them hyped. We want to get them excited and we're, we're pushing them to the two yard line ready for the sale. And the last thing we say is, by the way, before calling us up, check out the prices. And the whole reason for that was he was getting, especially in the busy season, like in May, he's getting tons of calls every day that he can't even get to. Well, we needed to find a way that when somebody would come in and they would call him or fill out the contact form, they already knew the value he brought or the emotion they already knew the process of working with him and they already knew the pricing so then that way when he got on the phone with them he knew they were a qualified prospect because whether we like to address it or not i mean I, what was happening with him was i was listening to some of his sales calls because he was saying look logan the leads because this is before we put pricing on the website the leads that i'm getting i'm getting a lot of them but man they're they're just they're low end 
And I was like, low end, okay, let me listen. He didn't know I did it, but I started to record his sales calls because I wanted to hear what was I doing wrong as a marketing company that's stopping him. Well, he would go in with a shitty attitude. Like I heard him tell one lady, like, you know, she said, wow, that's a lot of money. And he just said, are we done? And I'm like, dad, are you serious? You can't do that. And because he got called out on it, he, he pivoted. But I realized the marketing that we were doing was working so well that it was bringing everybody to the website. And eventually we had to figure out a way to filter all that out. All right, so that's where the pricing came in. And then what this allowed him to do was everybody that, that now started to fill out the contact form, they, they knew pricing. They had a better understanding of the process and why he's worth $1,000 and everybody else in the area is worth $400, things like that. So it brought in the right types of people. All right, coming down, I'll, I'll show you this button in a second, but now we wanted to show a little bit more of like the, the let's prove it, right? The before, during, and afters because if we can actually showcase what it looks like of them working, it adds a factor of legitimacy of not just, oh, this is a really high-end website, but to actual like, okay, they actually do what they say they're doing. All right, so that's where we have some photos, hit them with a little bit of more social proof, um, and then you know some uh, testimonials. And that's really the main function of these service pages is to bring them in emotionally, talk about the process, and then hit them with pricing. Now, he is something cool, and this, I keep saying he, my dad doesn't own this company anymore, he sold it to Mike and Andrew, but Mike and Andrew did something really freaking cool on their site, and this is something that we're starting to implement on everybody's sites, is to, um, or at least all the clients that are in our ongoing um, service and SEO, like marketing program, is these are essentially sales enablement pages. And what I mean by that is, Somebody's gonna come in and they're gonna see, wow, that it costs $9.90 or it costs $1,500 to get my pond clean. Why? Why does it cost that much money? And it's not that people are afraid of getting ripped off. They're just, I'm sorry, they're not afraid of spending money, they're afraid of getting ripped off. So we needed to kind of walk through what's going on. Like, why does it cost what it costs? So we actually walked through examples, right? This is what a small one comes up with. This is the, you know, I'm sorry, the, the small cleaning cost. This is what goes into it. This is, you know, what we're doing for it, things like that. And we actually even had fun little calculators on here that allowed people to essentially do their own estimates, right? Figure out for themselves, well, okay, I think I'm about, I don't know, 130 square feet. That might be $1,500, right? So what we were trying to do here was we also aired a little bit on the, on the high side for all this because the way that, that they now sell is when somebody comes in to the website and says, hey, I want to get a, you know, a, a quote on your pond cleaning, they say, great, head over to this page and they will actually have the prospect pull this page up and they'll walk through this together and the prospect will say, well, I think I'm at about 250 square feet and Andrew goes, okay, well, actually funny enough, you're not at 2100, you're actually closer to 1800. And the homeowner's like, oh my God, you saved me money, I'm in. It's crazy how it works, but that's what I'm talking about at the beginning of the video where we need to be intentional about the website. That is what this does, is this is all very strategic and we make sure that they, you know, Andrew and Mike and, and everybody else who has these pond websites, they know how to use it in the sales call to get people to move forward more because it adds a lot of persuasion into it. All right, we do a little bit of objection handling on this page, right? Where to start, choosing the right contractor, things like that. So we really, really, really wanna focus on educating the prospect, but also still merging in a lot of those different persuasion skills and tactics, all right? Now the last thing I wanna show you about this site is gonna be the actual process page. Again, this is a, a much bigger site. You know, We get tons of people to the website. Um, but I wanna walk through what the process page looks like because we want every single prospect as a business owner, I mean, I'm a business owner, I would love it if every single contractor that called me up to do the marketing for them said, Logan, I've seen your work, I know how your program works, and I know ballpark what it costs. Because now I'm like, cool, easy sales call, love it, let's go. Same thing here. We want to walk somebody through exactly how the process looks. Because the more that we can lay out everything up front, the more that Premier Ponds is going to get credit for all the amazing things that they're actually doing in somebody's yard, right? 
they have a warranty. Well, most contractors have some sort of warranty, but Premier is bringing it up up front because if they're going against, you know, if they're at $1,000 and another company's at $1,000 for a cleaning, Premier can go, well, we got a warranty on it. Do they have a warranty? And the homeowner might be like, I don't know. You're like, cool. Well, we have a warranty. So it's at least one little tactic or one little thing that puts them over the edge of why they're better or why their $1,000 is worth a little bit more because they have a warranty. So the site as a whole, as the prospects go through it, it navigates it really easily because when somebody comes in, maybe they go, I want a pond. They come in, they understand the value of the contractor, in this case, Premier. They understand some of the popular upgrades that they can do. They understand you know, how this is gonna help their family emotionally. They know the process of working together. They know ballpark pricing. And if they wanna go even deeper in a ballpark pricing, they can really learn more about it and they can actually you know, play with their own pricing here. And when there's this interaction, now people feel more involved with the company and it's easier for them to move forward as well. Like Apple does this, when, you, when they first set up the Apple store in the morning, they tilt down all of the laptops. So you can't see it. So you as a customer, you're gonna walk in and you're gonna actually take your hands and open up the laptop and start to play with it. Well, when you do that and you have a physical touch with it, you feel more uh, aligned with it. Like you like built a relationship with it. Sounds odd, but that stuff works. And that is where this website takes those principles and factors those in because we want people to play with it. It needs to be an interactive site. And the more interactive it is where they're clicking on buttons and scrolling and doing these things, the more that they're getting immersed into your brand and the more that likely it is for them to move forward. So that is how we built out this website. It's got all the right frameworks, it's got all the right stuff, but the way that somebody comes in is they're gonna come in and go, okay, I got a pond, cool. Let's check out the pond maintenance. Now they're gonna scroll, they're gonna learn more about it, they read all this stuff, and when they go, okay, this is the company for me, they can look at more photos, they can look at the pond, the, the cost, they can look at the process, so this, this page acts as a directory as well, and when it's time to just get going, cool, let's get a quote. And once they get over to the get a quote page, this is where they fill out the form, Premier Pond gets it, calls them back, deal is done like that. That's how it functions, and this works Premier does this. Uh, my youngest brother, TJ, started his own pawn company down here in Charlotte, works for him. We have a bunch of pawn companies that do the same thing where it guides somebody through it very strategically and it calls out the right things. It focuses on the prospect, not on the pawn company themselves. And when all that stuff happens, that's why this company last year, I mean, they've grown so much over the past couple of years and they have some really cool, exciting stuff in the future coming up that can't talk about, but it's all because they've invested into their marketing and more importantly, into their brand. That is how we built this. We took all the amazing stuff that Premier Ponds has done offline, put it online in an interactive way that educates clients and tells them really the, the persuasion and paints the picture in their head of what it looks like to hire Premier Ponds.